Have, haven't you heard of eight feet tall? Under the Giants, like eight feet tall or something crazy like that. I've heard of two feet tall. There's like this two foot tall, fully grown person. Fully grown, two feet tall. So, I mean, you get those extremes, but height isn't a real good example to say you can't ever get there. But something like uh, measurements are, like measurements of number of cells in a, uh, in a cancer, what do you call those things? Someone in here has got to be in biology, a little, I forgot the name, like a tumor. There you go. Could you have a uh, number of cells in a cancer tumor? Could it, does it ever have to have a highest amount? Those tumors keep growing and growing and growing, right? So in that case, I mean, there's really no upper limit. Just keep going and going and going. So sometimes you can't ever get to the end of our data set. You'd have this outlier where that cancer tumor has a zillion cells or something crazy like that. It's, it's possible. Theory-wise, we can't ever get to the end. Practically, yeah, with height and maybe with weight, we can actually go enough standard deviations to cover all of our data. Uh, but theory-wise, we can't. So within two standard deviations, as usual, if you've got something that's lying outside of three standard deviations from the mean, that is really, really unusual because only three people out of every, or three items out of every thousand items is going to fall outside of that. So randomly picking something and saying, oh, what's the chances that's going to be outside three standard deviations? That's very rare. Okay. We're going to ultimately use this information uh, along with something called a hypothesis test to make decisions about the data that we're going to collect. Okay, that, that's really where we're going with this. Right now I just need to understand what a normal shape is. Do you understand what a normal shape is? And that if you have something normal, that we have things that are considered usual, within one is usual, within two is usual, with, outside of two is unusual, and things that are very unusual, outside of three is extremely rare, very, very rare. So I'm going to write that piece of data, uh, that piece of information down too. A data value outside three standard deviations from the mean is extremely rare. Let me give you kind of a graphic picture of what this looks like, by the way, just so you have an idea. Uh, can you show me with your hands what a normal distribution would look like? Show me. Does it look like this? Show me. Good, okay. That's what you're showing. Uh huh. Like a little hill. A little hill. Yeah, kind of like a little hill. Some of you were, and you're all doing this, so it's very cute. One of the better ones I've drawn. Hey, right. Now, on your normal distribution, what's going to happen is where your mean is is where most of your data is grouped. And in fact, in a normal distribution, it is right smack dab in the center. That's where your average, your arithmetic mean will be. So right here would be your x bar. Or your mu if you're talking about a population. Okay, I'm just using x bar because we've been talking about samples lately. And you'd be able to go ahead and calculate your sample standard deviation. And here's what this is saying. If I go over one standard deviation to the right and one standard deviation to the left. By the way, how can I get to this point if that's one standard deviation? I mean, mathematically. How could I get there? How could I say this is one standard deviation to the right? Let's do an example if you're unsure about that. I'll do it over here. We'll, we'll fill both in at the same time. I see a lot of blank looks right now. Okay, uh, let me make up some information. This is not accurate. I'm just making it up to illustrate, okay? So here's our sample. What we found that... Uh, the heights, we measure the heights of people. We were working with heights. We measured the people, heights of a certain group of people, and it came out that it was normally distributed. 
Is it important for me to tell you that heights are normally distributed for us to use this information? If it's not normally distributed, can you do this stuff? Not that, not empirical rule, it's got to be normal. Okay, heights are normally distributed. <clears throat> and I have to give you some other information. Let's say we had a mean of 65 inches. About how tall is that, 65 inches? Six, five. Hopefully not 65. Five, six. Five. Oh, yeah, five, six. 65 inches. Yes, five, six. 65. 65. 65. 65. 65. With a mean of 65 inches, that would be 5.5, five, right? 60, yeah. five, five. So we have a mean of 65 inches and a standard deviation, to keep it easy, of 3 inches. By the way, just so we kind of spiral into some information here, if we have a standard deviation of three inches, can you please tell me what my variance is? How'd you get that? Square. Ah, so variance and standard deviation, one's just the square of the other. True. So if you have standard deviations three, your variance is automatically nine. It's not a hard thing, just square. That's what we're doing here. Okay, so a standard deviation is three inches, the mean is 65 inches. If I say normally distributed, we're gonna get a picture just like this. Jeez, I'm getting good at those. Look at that. That's pretty good. It's like out of a book, right? It's like I've done this once or twice before. I have. It's been. It's my third time. <laughs> what goes right in the middle? What number is going to go there? Not a zero, because that's not. Sixty-five. Sixty-five, because that's what is that again? Mm -hmm. And what letters are we going to use to represent our mean in this case? Excellent. Why are we not using mu for right now? Sample. Very good. I said sample. I didn't say population. I said sample. So for some sample, uh, we got x bar is 65 inches. Awesome. Now, what I need to, you to do is be able to find how much one standard deviation within the mean is, how much two standard deviations within the mean is, and three. So we have a mean of 65 inches, and we have a standard deviation of what was our standard deviation? Three. What letter do you use to represent that? S or lowercase sigma, which one? Y, S. Again, sample. X bar and S, they go together. Mu and that, the canon thing, like that, uh, the S, sigma, goes together also. So my question is, okay, we have this information. How am I going to find something that is one standard deviation away from the mean? How much is standard deviation again? <coughs> what was it? <coughs> yeah. And uh, what was the mean? What's one standard deviation away? 66. 66 would be one unit. How many standard deviation, how many units is our standard deviation in this case? 16. Aha, so our mean is 65. Our standard deviation is three inches, right? 68. If we want to go one standard deviation, it's 68. How do you get from here to here? 68 inches. Sure, yeah, what do you do to those things? So if this is our x bar, to get from here to here, to get from x bar to one standard deviation away, all you had to do was add s. Or in our case, it was a 3. Does that make sense to you? Now this gives us one standard deviation to the right. Can you tell me what's one standard deviation to the left? 62. Good, 62. Are you all sticking, are you all understanding how I'm getting these numbers? I'm not Harry Potter today, right? This is not my wand. This is, this is just going with standard deviation. So if our standard deviation is three inches, we go to the right three inches, we go to the left three inches, minus s. That gives us within one standard deviation. Raise your hand if you understand that. So the range of 62 to 68 inches is within one standard deviation of the mean. Now you tell me, we've just got done this. Are you okay doing this yourself? We've just done this. 
what percentage of the people in my sample are going to fall within 62 and 68 inches? 68 what? Percent. So between here and here. And here's how you can represent this. We haven't really got this far as far as the area goes. Here's how you can, you can represent that portion of people on your chart. If you draw this and treat it like an area, those would be straight. I'm not good at straight lines. 68% of the people are going to fall right there. So far, so good. Now, on your own, what I want you to do is calculate the next standard deviation away, okay? Both to the right and to the left. Okay, what's the uh, the next upper limit for our, our standard deviation here? What are we doing? They're going to be the same distance because you added three again, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I hope you did. It'll be right there. 71. So you either, you either just keep adding three, or if you really want to do this, from here to here, couldn't you have just added two times s? Two times s is six, right? Could you just add 6 to this number and get there? Yeah, it's the same thing as adding 3 twice. So you could do that. You'd add three, three, 2 or 3 times, whatever. Or just multiply once and, and add that together. Or the lower limit's going to give us how much? 59. Okay. And what we know about this is that this is within two standard deviations. So the range from 59 71, that gives us two standard deviations from the mean. That's two to the left, that's two to the right. What percentage? 95%. Make a little hole here. The purple is going to be 95%. Can you see the difference between the black and the purple on that one? So 68%, that's just this middle range, 95% that covers this range. If I incorporate another standard deviation, uh, we can do this one together. We're going to go out another unit. What am I going to get at the top end? How much? 74. And someone else at the low end, what am I going to get? This would give me three standard deviations away. You notice that we could just multiply three times S and add it, we could subtract three times S, and that's going to give us three standard deviations away. Now what percentage is within three standard deviations? Mm -hmm. I don't want to muck this one up anymore. I said muck, muck, muck it, muck it up. I don't want to mess that up anymore. 99.7%. Oh, I already did, didn't I? 